Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing Laplace transform, effect of multiplication by t, problem number 2 and 3. Welcome back friends, let's discuss problem number 2 and 3 on effect of multiplication by t. Till now we have discussed problem number 1 in which it is very clear now how to use effect of multiplication by t. Let's move on and let's discuss these two problems. First of all, there is a very very important note and the note is always apply FSP at the end. So you need to remember this always apply FSP at the end. What does that mean that we're going to see in problem number two. So in case of problem number two our f of t is t e raised to minus 4t sin 3t. If you observe this problem yes please tell me which property you can find in this particular problem. Which properties? There is there are actually two properties in the same problem. This exponential part exponential part indicates fsp and this t indicates effect of multiplication by t. So in the same problem we have fsp as well as effect of multiplication by t. If there are more than one properties and fsp is involved you need to remember the note and what the note says always apply fsp at the end. Now we have a choice between effect of multiplication and fsp we're gonna follow this we're gonna apply fsp at the end that will make your problem a bit simple. So let us move on forget about the property we know the trick forget about the property forget about effect of multiplication by t forget about fsp you are left with what laplace of sin 3t yes please what is laplace of sin 3t what is laplace of sin 3t 3 upon s square plus 9 so here it will be 3 upon s square plus 9 what next two options we know the note we gonna apply FSP at the end, we left with what? By effect of multiplication by T, Laplace of T into sin 3T. Sin 3T Laplace is 3 upon S square plus 9 and due to this T, we gonna see due to this t we gonna write down as minus 1 days to 1 d and ds that means we gonna differentiate it once let's do it it's very simple this 3 you can take it out so this will be minus 3 d by ds of as we did in the last problem 1 upon s square plus 9 can be written as s square plus 9 inverse what next we need to take the derivative that will be equal to minus 3 into derivative of this particular term s square plus 9 inverse it will be again fx raised to n n fx raised to n minus 1 into derivative of s square plus 9 is what 2s so that is equal to See here, this is minus 3 into minus 1. So this will be 3 into 2s. That means 6s upon this s square plus 9 raised to minus 2. So this minus 2 will go down and that will become s square plus 9, the whole square. So this is basically t into sin 3t. What next? Last, final, we need to apply FSP by FSP. s will be shifted by here we have minus 4 therefore s will be shifted by plus 4 so this will be 6 s plus 4 upon s plus 4 the whole square plus 9 the whole square wherever there is s there will be shifting here and here there will be shifting so this is the problem t e raised to minus 4 t sin 3 t is this clear so in the next same problem you can find multiple properties. So as we move on we discuss the number of properties going ahead. In the single problem there can be multiple properties and the marks will increase. For example you remember the last problem that we solved sin t into t square. So this problem may come in the exam for 5 marks. 
if the examiner wants to make it uh, a bit difficult or for um, more marks there can be FSP in the problem and the five marks problem can be converted into six marks as we move on as we go ahead we'll discuss number of properties and you can apply one more property and the problem will become for eight marks so that's it so this is the way the problem will go on so done with problem number two now we're going to solve problem number three problem number three again f of t here it is t into root of one plus sine t this problem can come in the exam for five marks forget about this property this is effect of multiplication by t you will be left with what root of uh, sine uh, root of one plus sine t consider now i'm going to write it down directly here because this problem we have already covered in type number one as well as type number two in both the types we have solved this so let me write it down directly here it will be s plus half upon s square plus one by four type number one type number two detail explanation is given there so i am directly writing on the solution for this particular problem let us simplify it further if you take lcm 2 is lcm so it will be 2s plus 1 in the denominator 4 is the lcm 4s square plus 1 in short this 2 is in the denominator and this 4 is in the numerator actually this 4 is up and 2 is down so this will be cancelled 2 to the 4 and you will be left with what this. So actually this is the solution of Laplace of root of 1 plus sin t. Since I want to go ahead and I want to apply effect of division by t, multiplication by t, therefore I am solving it further. Okay. So let us move on by effect of multiplication by t laplace of t into root of 1 plus sin t yes please what will happen root of 1 plus sin t laplace we know is what 2 2s plus 1 upon 4s square plus 1 and due to this t what will happen minus 1 raised to 1 d raised to 1 and ds raised to 1 that means i'm going to differentiate it once and we'll get my solution let's do it this 2 you can take it out of uh, derivative part and inside will be left with 2s plus 1 upon 4s square plus 1. How to differentiate? u by v rule. This is u and this is v. What is u by v rule? Denominator square v square v as it is. Derivative of u. 2s plus 1 derivative is 2 minus u as it is that is 2s plus 1 as it is 4s square plus 1 derivative is 8s let us simplify we need to open the brackets here if you open the bracket this will be 8s square plus 2 minus this minus 8s into 2s will be 16s square minus 8s 8s multiplied with both the terms upon 4s square plus 1 the whole square so which will be equal to 2 minus 2 into this is 8s square this is minus 16s square so minus 16 plus 8 will be minus 8 so let me write it down i am writing on this 2 first then this minus 8s this 2 minus 8s and if we simplify this 8s square minus 16s square will be minus 8s square upon 4s square plus 1 the whole square so that is the required solution for laplace of t into root of 1 plus sin t so this problem can come in the exam for 5 marks can you make it 6 marks yes how just apply one fsp and the problem will be for 6 marks how see here just write it down one exponential part here and the problem will be of six marks let's say you write it down here 2t so what will be the difference you're going to proceed the same way in the final step due to this plus 2 s will be shifted by minus 2 that means this will be minus 2 2 minus 8 this s will be s minus 2 minus 8 s minus 2 the whole square s minus 2 the whole square and so on and the problem will be of 6 marks so this is the way problem comes in the exam
we are leaving it as it is problem number three hope this is clear done with problem number two and three in the next videos we'll go ahead and we'll solve few more examples thank you